Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shay, aka Echo Girl. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I actually meant to do more of these a while ago and um, life got in the way. Um, so, but I'm back for now. Um, got a few projects I'm working on, a few makeup tutorials I'm working on. So that's what we're going to do today. And just give you a quick update if you guys this is your first video that you're seeing of mine I've been doing these k-pop makeup tutorials which have been going not really no um they've been going they've been going pretty well though I mean um it's been fun mainly these are just inspired looks by songs and albums and general aesthetics this is not me trying to copy any exact look this is not me saying like hey i'm gonna like recreate so and so's look from this group um it's just you know me doing the aesthetics i feel from this so i did so far i've only been doing bts so i did uh no more dream Attack on Bongtan, Rise of Bongtan, and I Need You. I did those three. And um, I was gonna do another one for a uh, school love affair. And then uh, Map of the Soul Persona came out. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I do have the album. I do. I got version one. So I put it in my drawer. I can't get it now for you guys. But. Anyways, uh, Map of the Soul Persona came out, so this is going to be kind of a double episode. I've been doing some commentary, and I've also, along with the uh, makeup tutorials, I've been doing some commentary videos. I did one about K-pop in America, and one about being an older K-pop fan. Originally, I was going to do a review video for the album Map of the Soul Persona, and I was also going to do a makeup-inspired look for Map of the Soul Persona, but then I thought, why do two separate videos when I can do two in one. So that's what today's gonna be. Um, and hopefully I will get it up soon. You guys will be watching this and you guys will be like, yay. So first things first, Map of the Soul Persona came out. We all know this. It's been a time. It's been a, it's been a time, let's be honest. Um, I have opinions, <laughs> not necessarily bad ones. They're not necessarily bad opinions. Um, I guess to lead this off, I will say that when I first heard Love Yourself Her, I it had to grow on me. And that's kind of what I'm going through with Map of the Soul Persona. Um, it's not that it's a bad album or that it's not good or that the songs are terrible. Like, I do like the songs, but I'm just like, when you're coming from Love Yourself Answer and how iconic that last album was to this, it's kind of like a step down. Um, and I, I feel like it's going to take me a couple of listen throughs before I'm like, yes, I love this album like I do with Love Yourself Her now. Like when I first heard Love Yourself Her, I, I, I admittedly will say I don't like the song DNA, but I love the music video. And I know that's weird. Like, I'll watch the music video all day, but the song is just like, eh. It's eh to me. It's a good song, but it's not like their best, you know? Um, my favorite song is obviously Dionysus. I think that's like across the board everybody's favorite song. Um, I, in two weeks, I'm going to be seeing them in concert, so I'm really hoping that they do that song live. Um, even if they don't do the choreography, I, I, they could just run around the stage like crazy people and I'd be satisfied. Like I know the choreography is difficult and that a couple of the members have gotten injured during the choreo. So I wouldn't want them to get injured again, but I really kind of low key hoping that they do the song, even if it's just them running around being crazy on stage like they do. Cause that song is such a hype song and it'd be such a fun song to like jam out to in the concert. So that is that. Um, Boy With Love, is such a fun cute song um i really love the generalized aesthetics of the video the pastels the pinks the you know just the happiness the happy feel um it is it's an earworm song it gets stuck in my head all the time i'll just be sitting there doing something random and i'll just be like oh my 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 yeah so like it's it's an earworm you know gets stuck in your head um but 
you know, it's it's a good song. It's a good song. I, I do I did love the addition of Halsey. I think she did a great job. Applause to her and we're not gonna hate on her on this channel because we don't hate on biracial queer women on this channel. We don't do that. Not in this channel. <laughs> like not on this channel. So um yeah, so Today's look is actually going to be inspired by Boy With Love. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying I barely own anything pink. Um, I'm a hairstylist. What's considered professional for hairstylists is black on black on black. So 90% of my clothing is black. I had to find a, a pink tank top, like, hidden somewhere. I don't even know where I got it from. I think my mom gave it to me. I never wear it. And, um... Yeah, I have a pink tank top and like a blue shirt to wear for this that wear over, but uh, that's pretty much the extent of my boy with love look. I don't have anything pink, more pink than that. So without further ado, today's look is inspired by boy with love. That's the main thing. Um, such a fun song, such a happy, like energetic song. Can't wait to see it live. Um, I will be doing vi a video um, while I'm there. I'll be videotaping like the trip with me and my best friend. I'm gonna, you know, put a link to her channel because she does a lot of random videos. Um, but yes, I am gonna be doing like a kind of a vlog, I guess you can say. I'm not gonna be vlogging everything. I am, do not plan to be filming the entire concert. I will probably only film like a couple of clips here and there and upload them. And even still, I might not, I might take the sound out of those just because I don't know what can happen for copyright with that and I don't want to get copyrighted for that but I would like to share that night with you guys because it's gonna be epic so epic so without further ado again let's get started as you can see I'm wearing Mang today Mang had a bath Mang had a bath which is good I'm gonna keep Mang as far as possible away from my face um and he's clean he's clean he had a bath um so today's look is gonna be it's not gonna be as girly as the i need you look if you watched that video if you saw the i need you look if you didn't watch that you know what are you doing you need to go and watch that because you need to see how girly that look was because that's not something i know that's not normally how i look i don't do girly looks i like edgy and a few of my future looks are pretty edgy so so today is gonna be not as girly as i need you but it's still gonna be a little bit girlier so i'm gonna show off my tools and by tools, I mean, I'm going to just show you the products I'm using. So I know that in my No More Dream video, I did this before, but I'm going to show you off everything that I'm using for today because that's how we do. So I'm going to use for primer, Too Faced, Hangover, RX. I live by this primer and I'm almost out. I have a whole nother bottle that I'm like ready to use. So exciting. So that's what we're going to use for the face, for the, uh, Prime and prep and prime. Uh, then I've got my Huda Beauty foundation, the like faux filter foundation, which basically makes you look photoshopped. It's toffee because my skin is toffee colored apparently. This is great, great foundation. If you're looking for something that gives you coverage that makes you look like you were photoshopped, this is the foundation I would suggest getting. Um. Then we've got, I'm going to be using, it's very heavily used, so excuse me please, I've had this palette for years, but my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. Yes, I know, it's heavily used. It's, I, I'm not buying a brand new contour palette just to do this. You know how much these things cost? More than I can afford on a regular basis. <laughs> so, we're going to be using that. I also have for highlighter because I love this highlighting palette, the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. As you can see, it's holographic. I'm going to be using for this one the pink opal, which I think I used the last time too. It doesn't look pink when you look at it. It looks like a weird beige color, but it goes on pink. I can tell you that much. And then to cover my face, I use Maybelline's Fit Me. I am... A huge fan of this and it's six dollars at Walmart like I don't need any other powder foundation I just need this just give me it works this is a uh, golden caramel 
that's the other thing. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be using for the face. So let me take off my glasses and we're gonna get started. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna let this bake. Let it bake. And I'm actually gonna do my eyes now. So let me show you guys what I want to do. So for my eyes, that's not the first thing I'm gonna use. For my eyes today, we've got Gimme Brow by Benefit. This one I'm gonna use on my brows. I love this stuff because it's like a brow gel and it's really like pretty. Makes me look really pretty. Um, makes my brows look really pretty. Mmm. And then I have from my eyeshadow palette. It's gonna be kind of experimental today. I don't know if I'm gonna use the everything in both palettes, but I am gonna plan on using the Riviera palette because this is my life. Um, I'm definitely gonna be using the pinks in this, the Bahamas and Palermo at some in some way. I'm gonna be using them. Um, probably use a couple colors from there too. And then I also have my Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. And more than likely, I'll be using something from there. I don't know what yet. Maybe this pink, maybe that. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but I also have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance that I'm going to be putting on my eyelids. You know. You know how I do. And then I have the Sex Kitten Eyeliner. Yeah, I said it this time. So sue me. That's the name of the eyeliner. Or Sue Tart. They made this. But I love this eyeliner. We're not using liquid liner anymore on this channel. Liquid liner is banned from this channel. It's banned from the chat. And then I have the Benefit They're Real Mascara for my eyes. I'm gonna stop now. Um, so those are the things I'm gonna use on my eyes. And I also have the, I still don't know if it's NYX or NYX. I should have looked it up. But I have the NYX Blush Cinnamon. I'm gonna use that on my cheeks. I forgot to say that earlier. So yeah, I'm gonna do my brows now and put on a little bit of eyeshadow and the primer and then I'm gonna blend all this in and finish my face. So here we go. Okay, now while that's sitting and baking, <laughs> I have not cleaned this yet. We're actually going to use this pink that's in the middle here, the Meteor Crush. We're going to use on, the Meteor Crush, which I think I said I was going to use before, but we're going to use that for the brow line because even though I need my brows done horrendously, like it's bad. It's so bad how bad I need my, my brows done. It's disgusting. I feel like something's missing. I feel like... Oh. Hmm. Try something. There's this eye. And there's this eye. Oh, this is so much better. I'm so glad I went for a bolder look. Now just to remember everything I did so I can replicate it on this eye. Okay, so what I ended up doing with my eyes, because I decided I wanted to be a little bit crazier, it felt too bland before. Just before I used like the three pinks, or I used, actually what I used was, I used Bahamas, Palermo, Monte Carlo, and Coastline. 
I used Bahamas, Monte Carlo, and Coastline on like my upper lid back here. And then I used Palermo on the inside over here. And then I ended up um, using Estate for like the lid. And I thought it just looked too plain. So what I did was I zhuzhed it up a little bit. All I did was I threw in, I don't know how to say that word, but Seychelles? <laughs> Probably you're saying it so wrong. And the uh, canes, cans, cans, the purple and this light blue over here. I threw the light blue on my lid and the purple I used to cut my crease. Not really cut my crease, but go in my crease and then kind of like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that was exactly what this look needed to kind of like make it pop because this is, it's a girly look. It's a soft, it's a girly <clears throat> look. It's a soft song, but it's also like a fun, like, yeah, boy with love. So, last but not least are the lips. So, I have, this is actually new. It's called Mat X or Glam Bag, I'm not sure. But it's Lippy Stick and it's by ColourPop. ColourPop Lippy Stick. And it's a pink. I'll show you. Um, someone gave it to me. I don't normally wear pink lipstick. Um, but I'll take whatever I can get, you know. I like to do different looks, so. And then this is All May goddess gloss and it's angelic and i'm gonna put that over the top because i mean let's be honest bts has angelic voices so and i know this is a matte lipstick but i want the uh glossy look I actually like this. I'm sure they have more colors on their site. Maybe I can find one in black. Okay. I actually don't like the glossy feel. I like the look of it. Especially when it gives it kind of like a dimensional look. Okay. So, here is my Boy With Love look. This was so much fun to do, this makeup. I've never done anything this bold on my eyes before unless it was for like a cosplay. So, so now I'm gonna go and get dressed in my not nearly as bold outfit and I'll be right back to end this video. All right, so this is the completed look. As you can see, there's this shirt that I'm wearing um, it's just a blue flannel and the only pink tank top I own. Um, my necklace says love because, you know, boy, do love. And I always do the fake septum piercing. I would get a real one, but um, I already have this and it's just, nah, too much in my nose. That's really well, but I look cute with the septum piercing. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, the wig is kind of a disaster. I thought it was going to be brighter, like, closer to this pink or like this pink, but... No, <laughs> this is, I guess you get what you get, huh? Um, kind of reminds me of like, I guess it's like an anime cosplay wig and it also keeps sliding backwards. I probably won't wear this ever again. Well, I think I have, I am planning on wearing it for another look that I'm doing in the future, but maybe I'll find a better one by then, who knows? Um, yeah, so this is my Boy With Love look. I am really digging this makeup. I'm actually extremely proud of how this came out. Like, just let's get like a look at this. Like, this came out really nice, the eyeshadow. Um, especially considering that on the fly I made it up, like, as I was going along, like, I had no plan really at all with any of this. I just kind of was like, let's do it. Let's do this. So, this was the inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, click the like button click the subscribe button I don't know hit the little bell for notifications you know I am trying to do more of these 
um, it's just so difficult because I feel like I'm going non-stop and Avengers Endgame comes out in two days and I know that I'm going to be emotionally destroyed by it. So, um, I'm hoping that I can get more of these in, you know, because I, I am getting my hair done in a couple of weeks and I won't be able to wear wigs for a while when I have my hair done so that means like these tutorials will be like on a halt until then. I might do a couple of looks that I can do without wearing wigs but most of my looks that I have planned right now are planned with wearing wigs so I have to like recalibrate everything. Um, but I am really excited to see BTS in concert. I'm really excited. It's going to be such an amazing experience. Um, and I am totally ready to share that with you guys. I'm totally ready for you guys to see this and see the, like, the experience that me and my friend are going to have. We're going to have a great time. Like, just overall, it's going to be nice to be, you know, out of town for a little while and just kind of breathing and away from all this. So, again, if you like this video, I hope that you will like and subscribe and support me. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your K-pop loving friends. Um, and I'll try to get more of these up within the week, you know. I'll try to get more content out there for you guys. So, in any case, um, also, I guess I should ask you guys. I told you guys my favorite song on Map of the Soul Persona, which is Dionysus. If you forgot already, it's Dionysus. I forgive you. If what is your favorite song on Map of the Soul Persona? Leave a like down or leave a comment down below. Why would you leave a like for that? Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite song is from Map of the Soul Persona because I'm interested in seeing what everybody thinks. I think it's a good solid album. Um, I am excited to see if there's anything coming next or if this is gonna be the last we're gonna hear for a while. Um, but it was, nonetheless, it was a fun comeback. The guys are doing great right now. They're working very hard. I can't wait to see them on the BBMAs, which everybody I know, I said in the last video, that I do not watch award shows. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just telling you this right now. It's full stop. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just going to wait till my mom calls me and tells me they're performing, and then I'll go watch it. I'll probably be playing Mortal Kombat during that time. The new Mortal Kombat that just came out today. Hey, hey! So, like, that's probably what I'll be doing, and then my mom will tell me, hey, BTS is on TV, and I'll go skidding down the hallway again to watch them perform. And hopefully they won't spend 90% of the time either filming Halsey or filming the crowd, like they normally do. So... Yeah, again, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Your love keeps me growing. I will have some more commentary videos for you guys soon, as well as more makeup videos, and hopefully soon hear music videos too. Like, not music videos, like actual music videos, but covers and stuff that I've been working on. So, uh, as always, stay hydrated, take care of yourself, and I love you guys.